Alright, hey, this is Austin. We're talking about a different gun today. Uh, this is just to just overall talk about the main brand of Spider. This is a Spider Rodeo. My brother got one. I have no clue why he got a Spider, though. He's had this for about four years. And it, or no, not even four years, two or three years, and it just sucks. If you ever get a Spider, just, I recommend you not, unless you're a starter and you're just trying to get an easy gun that. One thing, spiders are really, really loud. Like, not saying other guns aren't, they're just loud and they get jammed real easy. And then the other thing with spiders is when you fix a problem, you ri there's basically another problem. Like, I just wanted to use this the other day just to shoot my backyard. And the CO2 was leaking right under there. Fixed it. And then where's it leaking? It leaks throughout the barrel, so just like, screw it. Uh, the ASA has only one way you can't really adjust it. Goes in like that. This way. Has like a 12 inch barrel and the gun is like 6 pounds. It's heavy as hell. And uh, it has an easy velocity adjuster. It just has no new equipment. And sometimes the safety, if you have that on, it still works. So you can still shoot with the safety on. So. Yeah, it's just a matter of spider. Another thing about spider is they're really cheap and like I was on their website the other day checking out stuff. They're uh, they're uh, training guns. People think they're so good. They actually are not that good. You can just buy an airsoft gun that can do the same and just use your paintball airsofts. And uh, yeah, spider I don't recommend you to get. Stick with uh, I'll go over some other brands in a different video, but. Spider's not the way to go. The the barrel's heavy. The barrel is all right if you look inside. Oh, it's not. This is a poorly designed gun. Uh, I mean, it shot okay for the first year. It's it's an okay gun. Um, it has a jamming cock. It doesn't have eyes or anything. It's not automatic. Is that? I guess it gets jammed. Uh. Yeah, the design sucks, and I was on the Spider's website the other day. They have bunkers for like 30 bucks. It shows you that they're pretty cheap, and so if you look, I don't think any of the pros use their gear or anything. If you look around, it's all NXE, Die, Proto, Smart Parts, uh, brands like that. I think you see a lot of Tipman, stuff like that. Um... Yeah, some of those bigger brands, but I recommend you not to get a spider. This is a spider rodeo, worked okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll just talk to you guys later, a different video. Alright, see you.